Hello, I'm Bruce McConnell, Global Vice President of the East-West Institute, and I want to talk to you today about some transnational threats. These are threats like cybercrime, infectious disease, migration, climate change that cross borders and for which two characteristics are common. First, they're accentuated in their severity by the technology that's available today. Second, there's a lack of effective international institutions to manage these issues. One of the critical transnational issues that EWI is focusing on is cybersecurity. Let's talk about the airspace and the security there. You can't get on a plane if you, it's not clear who you are. You can't fly one unless you have a license, and they can't fly if they are not inspected uh, by the authorities. We have nothing like that in cyberspace. Furthermore, there are public and private organizations like the International Civil Aviation Organization and the International Air Transport Association that work together with the industry and governments to make the airspace more secure. And yet, we have nothing like this in cyberspace when you think we should. The risks are very real. For example, uh, cyber attacks have been used to cut the electricity in the Ukraine, to corrupt the data in the international financial system. And these cyber weapons are very easy to get to. There are whole attack infrastructures available for rent in the black market, on the dark web, uh, that anyone can get to and use to attack somebody else's computers. If those risks today were not enough, there's more coming because the technology is changing. Take, for example, encryption. The lawsuit between Apple and the FBI is an example of the concern that law enforcement has that it won't be able to investigate significant crimes because the evidence is going to be locked up on somebody's smartphone. At the same time, we need encryption to protect our business data and our personal data from the bad guys. Another new source of risk is the Internet of Things or the Internet of People. By 2020, 10 times as many devices, Fitbits, thermostats, automobiles, floodgates, will be connected to the Internet than all the computers and cell phones in the world. And these devices are being built in very insecure ways. Since 2009, EWI has played a leading role in addressing these and other issues. We continue to work hard on them. For example, in 2016, we're working in three areas. We're promoting norms of behavior for governments and companies in cyberspace to make the whole place a safer and more responsible environment. We're working closely with the European government on a three-year project to develop and promote those kinds of norms of behavior. At EWI, we will continue to work the cybersecurity issues, convening experts and policymakers, reframing questions to find new solutions, and advocating for change so that this indispensable part of our world can be safer and more secure. <laughs>